Hey everybody, Beyondrew TV here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new episode here of Walking Right in My Way, otherwise known as Thornton Hill Zoo. <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh, really excited for today's episode of Thornton Hill Zoo because I'm sure I put it in the title and everything. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a whole new section full of the new aquatic pack uh, animals. Now they're all not in the same spot there. I kind of uh, moved them around a little bit and we don't have yet, but I am planning to do it. Uh, we don't have the dwarf king in quite yet but we have the other big three in um, the zoo there so yeah let's go ahead and start it off there because we have a lot to show off but um, yeah I just wanted to show where we were here in the zoo because uh, we were right at the beginning here with our uh, antelope and reindeer and then our little gift shop areas right behind us I wanted to show that off because we actually opened up this pathway over here um, for this new section over here so yeah the um, the pathing for uh, Thornton Hill Zoo is uh, all the way complete now I'll show you that um, at the end of the episode when we boop out of Tejid Cam here but anyways important stuff hey welcome to seal cove or at least this is part of a uh, new area over here and this part right here is yeah called seal cove and i bet you can know why because we have our black bears over here no obviously we have the new uh brand new gray seals over here and man you know i didn't do much for the entrance here but i just got a note i got a note the heckin' rocks are great, right? The new uh, flexi-colored uh, rocks just make everything so good. Love sinking, uh, what is this, number nine? Is this the, oh no, number seven, yeah. Uh, uh, aquatic faux rock number seven and number nine, which are the uh, little pebble ones. Those are the best ever there, so. But yeah, as you come up here a little bit, you get to get a nice view there of the little cove here, our seal cove, and there they are. It must be, yep, it's feeding time. <clears throat> it is feeding time, and they usually come up here. Uh, sometimes they stay inside the cove. Oh, yeah, and there's a good view of the entire cove right there. Uh, we have one of the new uh, underwater feeders in there, and sometimes they use that, but a lot of times they will come up there. And, uh, yeah, there you go. They're all done eating. Time to go back into the water there and flop like a fish and just flop around. <laughs> They're so floppy and bubbly and chonky. And that's, that's the big word, right? Right? That's the big, um, that's the big way to describe our uh, our new gray seals there from the aquatic pack, Mr. Chonkers. Just all the uh, the chonky chonks there. So, uh, but yeah, here is the new seal cove for uh, Thornton Hills Zoo. Here, I uh, had a ton of fun uh, putting this together uh, when I got the. Uh, pack early from Frontier immediately knew I wanted to come into Thornton Hill Zoo and add in some sort of, you know, uh, yeah, like I said, gray seal area and um, all that there. So we have a kind of theme to a harbor, um, just a little bit of a theme, right? We're, we're touching on just a little bit of a theme here using the new wood panel set and everything. Um, but yeah, mainly, like I said, it's just basically a nice little harbor, little cove here. Um, get to use some of the new sound effects. You might be able to hear the uh, swishing of the uh, beach and everything. There's a new, there's one of the uh, little speakers there. But I got to use um, uh, some of the sound effects over here here that sound really really awesome some of the music and everything but um yeah no just overall had a really really fun time putting together this whole little uh cove section there and again without the uh brand new flexi colored rocks here's a nice little viewing area uh, without the flexi colored rocks there yeah this totally would not have come together um as well as i think it did there but um yeah here's a nice long view down there and also um this didn't look as good until I put in the uh, nice uh, Weeping Willows, which are part of the new update there as well, right? So yeah, the Weeping Willows look so good. I love this view down here. <laughs> it looks so good. So yeah, love all the new pieces so far. Uh, they are fitting in very, very nicely. There's Frank... The archer, you know, just looking to looking to poke your eye out with his uh, with his arch uh, with his bow there and everything. So, um, and then yeah, like I uh, mentioned here, he's the new wood panel set. Uh, looks really good, recolored and everything. Like this little uh, kind of like a main beach house kind of thing, right? So yeah, that's kind of the vibe I wanted to get, like a northeastern kind of beach or uh, dockside kind of thing there. So um, also what we did is we're over here. Um, this is the Australia section. So we kind of see we're kind of getting. <laughs> this is a very cramped build. No, again, I'll show you that when we boop out uh, before we go check check out the otters and everything but um yeah this is a very cramped bill we're starting to butt up against some of the habitats here speaking uh or namingly i should say the uh king whoa flying kangaroo uh the kangaroo habitat here and we actually kind of had to um dig into their habitat a little bit which is okay because they had an excessive amount to be honest with you um according to the game there so yeah we kind of cut into it a little bit got this uh, little retaining wall here with the uh brand new um, aquatic pack fence there which is my favorite fence that um 
Frontier is released like almost ever. <laughs> it's it's seriously it's so simple and uh, it's great and yeah I love it, love it, love it, love it there. So yeah, now you get this uh, nice little backside view here of the um, Australia uh, or actually uh, the uh, kangaroo uh, habitat there. So that's pretty neat there. So there you go. And then let's go ahead and head over this way. And I'm not gonna ignore this building. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about that in just a minute there. But um, yeah, here is the other side of the Seal Cove. And let's see what month is it? It is now September. Let me click on something real quick to get our education point running. I want to get this actually going. We're going to make it go for November. That will be working out the good there. So yeah, um, I wanted to come over here. Hello, how you doing? Uh, because yeah, again, we have the uh, an education point over here. I want to kind of show that off. Because uh, yeah, I think it's uh, I think those are kind of a neat little idea there for the game, um, and it's fun to kind of see it go off. Now I don't know where everyone went. Like literally right before I started recording this, this was the busiest spot in the zoo. So I think every I just oh, I just heard an elephant. Oh, there's the announcement. Okay, so there's the announcement. It's it's an elephant noise to let you know that the. Uh, the educators are going to come there, but there's two people over there. But um, you yeah, know, I was saying there's I just opened the zoo up to about 2,000 people. There seem to be some people coming over, um, and everyone and their mother was over in this part of the zoo right when I opened it up. Um, and now they appear to have all um, scattered throughout the rest of the zoo there. But here's some great views um, of our gray seals um, uh, swimming through the water and everything. There'll probably be yes, there's always someone sleeping right here, um, and I love it. Yeah, they loved using the jetties there. If you didn't know these jetties here, which are part of the uh, new pack, yeah, the jetting. They're beddings, right? They're bedding platform. So yeah, I uh, um, I use those all over the place um, for wherever you want them to kind of sleep or just kind of hang out and stuff like that, which is awesome, awesome, awesome to see. So um, there's also some underwater viewing for this as well, which, well, here's our educator, so they will be starting soon, but um, usually this attracts guests over, it seems as well. But um, there's also underwater viewing, and we will take a look at that um, right after this as well. That, actually, no, that'll be the last thing we look at because um, there's uh, something behind us that I want to take a look at as well there. So let's see, we're at the 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and it's the first of the year, so they should start their talk, even ah. though no one is here. I bet all these people are coming for the educator talk. That's usually how it happens. Like, the educator will start talking, and then everyone starts to come over. And, oh, look at them rolling over in the back. I bet, um, I bet that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to speed up time just a little bit here. Oh, well, hope they make it. Hope they make it. Hurry, she's almost going to be done talking. Ah, uh, you made it. There you go. So the guests actually come over. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, no, it's really fun to see this um, in action and everything, and when it's actually working right and stuff. I think Frontier said that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, as of right now, that the educator talks might be a little bugged out. Like sometimes they don't do their full cycle and everything. Um, so yeah, that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, it's really fun when you see the guests and everything um, come on over here and you know listen and stuff. Now remember, the educator talks you can use them to uh, if there's no uh, water in the way, uh, they will feed the animals um, as well a lot of times. And I have that set up in the savannas of Africa section uh, of the zoo there so we will take a look at that uh, when that uh, area is done but um, yeah no, the educator talks are uh, definitely a neat little addition and it'd be uh, it's gonna be cool to kind of see how they expand that in the future there and again I love the weeping willows the way that they look behind the sun and everything it's perfect so all right let's look at the thing behind there there that's uh, again um, I'm gonna show off the underwater viewing area for the uh, seals there uh, as we exit out that'll be the best time to show that off so we're kind of bouncing all over the place but it wouldn't be a beyond your TV video without doing that so so anyways, behind us here, we have a uh, penguin building. Um, basically, yeah, it's all dedicated to penguins. Uh, nice little, uh, yeah, little penguin building here for our brand new king penguins uh, in the game there. This was modeled after, I'm kind of starting to stutter because I can't remember the name of it, but it's at Brookfield Zoo and I've been told the name of it multiple times and I can never remember when I'm put on the spot with it. But anyways, at Brookfield Zoo, there is, oh, Living Coast, I got it, bam. See, there it happened. The Living Coast at Brookfield Zoo is what this is based off of. Uh, not entire recreation or anything, but just kind of, um, yeah, kind of took a lot of inspiration from it. So, really love the um, these little uh, decorative panels and everything that you can put on the outside of your uh, buildings. Now, it adds just a heck of a lot, and even the statues and everything. Uh, just uh, love all the pieces that we have in the pack there. So, let's go ahead and head inside, though. Before we do, I did some interior work, and many of you are going to be like, oh, gasp, he did interior work? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Don't, don't get your hopes up too much there. But uh, yeah, I, I had a little bit of inspiration. There we go. There's some interior um, from uh, actually Miss Simply Savannah gave me some inspiration. She said she said to check out the uh, Sea World in uh, San Diego. 
they have a really good uh, penguin habitat there and yeah I took a lot of inspiration from that there so um, really like how this turned out this wall here this is a good example of how some of you uh, I don't do this often but some of you are going to use some of these brand new letters that we got in the pack uh, for crazy things because yeah I used the letter H I used the letter H to make all of this here basically because it's a nice little uh, fine line so you can make these little designs there but yeah I know a lot of you are into the art shapes and making you know custom animals and custom signs and just all that fun stuff so you're gonna get a load of um, stuff done with the new lettering and um, small pieces and all that fun stuff there but let's go and turn on the lights here as we kind of come around the corner because the sun would be there we go poking through as we come around the corner here because yeah we uh, have our main view of the pe uh, penguin habitat here and it's kind of the main little hangout little uh, area I guess yeah, just uh, overall there so yeah welcome to the bottom of the world again took a lot of inspiration from the uh, from SeaWorld San Diego and they had something like this uh, where you can come up to the uh, earth and kind of spin it around and uh, get some uh, information about Antarctica and stuff like that and then yeah here's the uh, the main view we're not paused right no we're not good um, main view of our uh, penguin habitat our king penguin habitat here and um, yeah this was a ton of fun to uh, build this was the basically one of the very first thing no I'm sorry the second thing the gray seals were the very first thing I built but uh, this is the first uh, time I got to really interact with the new rock set, uh, the new Flexi Rocks, a whole, whole bunch there. Um, they had a lot of fun kind of seeing where the penguins could traverse through. So I wish there was one over here because a lot of times they'll kind of climb up these um, uh, rocks here and you'll see them kind of cross the bridge and stuff. So <laughs> that's pretty fun there. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and head in here. But they're all swimming. Uh, that's usually what they're doing. They love to do the swimming stuff there. Are you guys yawning? Is this boring? I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, as we look in here, where are all the penguins? What the heck? Where are all the penguins? <laughs> Did they... Where the heck are... Where, let's, let's find out. We have to investigate. They're all in there somewhere. They're all in there somewhere. They're all hungry, but they're in there somewhere. So they must be swimming there. But yeah, here's your main views of the um, big penguin area. And I was uh, showing this off in a stream uh, earlier this week. And I was just saying, when you come in here, you could like totally, because it's open air here, you know, how it would just be so freezing cold when you walk in here, and it would be so loud with all the penguins chirping and stuff. I'm so upset that the penguins aren't out and about. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, just uh, chirping and stuff, and um, uh, yeah, and it would probably stink a whole bunch too, wouldn't it? Like, you just smell like, <gasps> I think my penguins got out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was like a horror movie. You just turn around and there's just a penguin sitting right there. Hey, hold on a second. I need to fix something, apparently. <laughs> okay, I have no idea how he escaped. That seems to happen at least once a... There he is right there. He just got put back in there. <laughs> this seems to happen at least once a time whenever I... Uh, yeah, Henry, stay in there. Uh, when you load up the game now, it seems like one random animal is just kind of out and about, even though their traversable area shows that they can't get out like anywhere. But anyways, um, yeah, so that, he's put back in there now. Um, and I did see all the other penguins are just swimming around, so we'll be able to see them when we go to our underwater viewing section uh, right over there. So, but anyways, yeah, there's the big open uh, air penguin area. And yeah, that's what I was kind of stumbling across when I was trying to find out where the penguins were. Uh, yeah, you can just feel how cold it is and uh, um, how loud it would be with all the penguins chirping and stuff like that. And, it, and yeah, probably how stinky it is because of all the penguin poop. I wish there was a way to um, get some nice little green effects on there because there's always the burr poop on there. But yeah, let's so we'll go ahead and uh, head downstairs just uh, using some more of the awesome new letters that we have there to give you some uh, random penguin facts. So there you go. Penguin fact number million for you there so uh, as we come down here but here's your uh, underwater viewing and there you go you get some really good views of our penguin dudes and dude Ed's swimming all around coming right up to the glass hello uh, <laughs> so yeah you get these really really good views there and uh, then over here in the corner I kind of took this inspiration from the SeaWorld uh, in San Diego. This would be a character meet and greet spot. Um, so yeah, the zoo's mascot or maybe like a, someone dressed in a penguin outfit or whatever. Uh, yeah, this would be where you could have your kids or yourself or whoever come over here and uh, have a little penguin uh, or, you know, a little photo spot with the uh, with the mascot there. So um, let's go ahead and poke our head in. There we go, right behind so you get these really good views of the penguins swimming all over the place there. So really love to uh, see that. The diving mechanics, when you can get them going, it, it took some of us a little bit of time to get it 
it uh, kind of worked out right with the four meter depth and all that stuff. When you get it going and see him just, um, you know, swimming all around and stuff, it's so, so neat. It's uh, one of the really, really fun things to do uh, just to sit there and watch the uh, penguins and other animals just swim back and forth and stuff. Love doing that there. So cool. Let's go ahead and head out. Uh, now, technically, there would be a little bit more, but uh, yeah, this is where the inspiration kind of ran out was about right here. So this is actually what would be known as Icy Cafe. And I do have every intention of coming back and finishing it out. Um, but yeah, this is Icy Cafe, as you can see. Um, and yeah, just kind of, uh, I really like how the outside turned out with the, this little sign that I made and this little design that I uh, put in front here and stuff. So I like how the outside looked and I did the rest of the interior of this whole building. So I figured, you know, I can't leave that empty. So that's, I have every intention. Keep me, hold me accountable, uh, everyone. Hold me accountable there. But yeah, I want to finish the interior of Icy Cafe. So yeah, that boops you out right back over near the educator spot and everything. So uh, yeah, that is basically the entire, um, I don't really have a full name for this, but I guess it'd be like the penguin encounter or, you know, Antarctica adventure or, you know, insert some sort of name like that. Um, and yeah, we'll probably uh, put a name like that up there for it soon there. But there's the big um, penguin building there. And yeah, just some last looks at the Seal Harbor as well. Um, yeah, and that was really, really fun to put together for uh, when I had early access with the uh, with the new aquatic pack here. That was like the first two things that I did there. Uh, and, and I got them done there <laughs> like the first probably two or, yeah, probably two or three days of the pack because I just was hit with a load of inspiration. Uh, the first uh, little bit that we had the pack there. So yeah, really had fun doing that. Let's go ahead and look at the underwater viewing section. And we're actually going to go this way to look at it. Because um, yeah, I had a lot of inspiration with the new rocks and foliage and everything to do little uh, nature trails and stuff. So yeah, let's just go ahead and head down this way. And like I said, I uh, I love using the faux rocks number nine and faux rocks number uh, seven, right? That's what it was. Because uh, yeah, I think that you can get some really cool looking... Um, Kind of landscapes with those uh, new rocks sunken into the ground and just kind of different colors going all over so um but yeah this is just a little side trail that leads down to our underwater viewing area and also one of my favorites are these rhubarbs here um and because yeah you can use these rhubarb uh plants i feel like a lot of places like we have natural rhubarb where i'm from in the midwest of the united states um and you could probably use this as like a uh jungle kind of cover like brush cover kind of thing you get these nice views of the seal cove i just noticed i didn't notice that view before um but yeah that's at least a little uh, wooden path kind of leading up there and then uh here is your entrance to the underwater viewing area and i really like how this kind of came out come down some of the new signs we get to see but yeah you get these really cool views of the oh there he goes kind of floating through the water there <laughs> but uh really big views of the um of the seal habitat here wanted to keep it nice and open um yeah so a lot of guests can kind of come down here and pack in uh, whenever they'd want to and stuff like that but uh yeah here is the seal habitat uh kind of underwater viewing section there so there you go. Had a uh, educator point here um, originally, but then I moved it where the dock was because no one would really come down here. I don't know if it was too far away. Um, and not a lot of people come down here initially right now because there's just uh, where the entrance is is kind of a dead area of the zoo. That's kind of the uh, one of the going to be some of the new expansion areas. There we go. Um, so yeah, maybe in the future we'll add another educator spot down there um, after. Yeah, there you go. We fill up the big green open area over here with whatever is coming there. So cool. And then the last little area I wanted to show was just this little. Um, um, walk up here using uh, some of um, Haribo's, Haribo's um, kind of custom textured walls there along with the new rocks and foliage and everything. Just really like how this kind of turned out right here as you're walking up um, to, um, to the uh, Seal Cove and all that kind of fun stuff. I gotta come up with a name for this general area kind of thing with the penguins and seals there because it's kind of like its own section or whatever. So, um, but yeah, no, overall, let's go ahead and boop out real quick, give you an overhead view of everything over in this little corner. Um, and yeah, get, get you a better uh, understanding of where we're at. So yeah, we're right next to the uh, entrance area there. I kind of tucked this right into the corner and I really uh, kind of had to... Uh, Kind of gave myself uh, some trouble by doing that to be honest with you i got really close you can see how close they got to the um, parking lot and everything this brand new building i'm gonna have to decorate this up a little bit or gussy it up or something um or maybe we'll just leave a big old concrete slab of uh you know infrastructure or their building there but uh yeah i got really close to having to kind of cut into our uh, grass area here because i was like oh god i kind of built myself into a corner but that's kind of fun to do that too right just give yourself a little plot of area to build in and kind of see what you can uh, kind of come up with there so yeah there is the uh, uh, seal cove and a uh, penguin area there so cool let's go ahead and boop over for the last thing i wanted to show off uh, which are the giant river otters um if you remember if you've been watching thornton hill zoo for a little bit here you'll know 
know that we built, are we here? Yeah, we're here. Um, you know that we built an implied uh, giant river um, habitat, ri river otter habitat rather, for our South America area a little bit ago. So of course I had many of you comment right away on that old video or in uh, Discord and stuff like, hey, you have to put the river otters in. And yes, you were totally right. That was like one of the first things I wanted to do and I got that done. Uh, somehow got that done uh, during the early access there. And I say that because, ho, oh, did I have some issues with this. And it turned out pretty good, but um, yeah, speaking of cramming yourself into a corner, hey, there they go, marching around. But uh, yeah, this whole thing had to be uh, hugely renovated and retrofitted. I, I also posted some uh, kind of joking pictures with a big crane over here um, saying that there's some big uh, construction going on in the South America section because yeah, I had to expand the heck out of their little habitat here because this little, if you remember, uh, this was basically the whole thing with a little area over here and yeah, that just wasn't going to work with the um, kind of the requirements and just the overall what I wanted to do for the um, uh, the otters there it just wasn't gonna work out so uh, yeah overall let me back out here because uh, yeah I had to do a lot <laughs> uh, I kind of had to tear up a lot of area over here that had been there was a path that ran right through here and this was a little offshoot now the main path actually goes through you kind of see where I didn't finish it up all the way but um, the main path now kind of cuts over this way goes up near this little um, this little information area this little information shed and then leads you out over to Wyatt Andrews um, bear habitat there so um, yeah had to just do a lot of tearing up and renovating to kind of get this big there he goes flying otters I love seeing it uh, to get this secondary pool over here to get them enough uh, um, of the underwater diving mechanics. I wanted them to have enough to uh, yeah, be able to do it. Over here, they don't really have enough room in this pool uh, to do it. It's not deep enough, and to get it deep enough would just be a pain in the butt, basically. Um, this wasn't going to happen. So, yeah, we had to just tear up this whole area over here to get some, uh, some deep enough... Um, diving mechanics and stuff like that, deep enough water and stuff. And then also, yeah, added in this little otter talks area, and this is where our educator area is over here for our, uh, let's poop in here for our otters there. And yeah, I kind of did a little bit of a uh, interior for this, but really, this is like my favorite um, underwater viewing section here. I just love how the um, the views are, just all the fallen uh, logs and stuff like that, and just, yeah, I just like how this looks a lot there. So um, there you go. And there's that. Let's see if we can get any of them to actually die there. I love the jumping flying otters. Like, they just love to do that. Let's see them if they uh, dive under the water here a little bit. I think that they have some issues with it because of the um, this the trees and how high up they are. Like, I kind of imagine that, oh, there, oh, I thought they was going to do it. I kind of imagine that, like, that they might be able to, like, swim around these kind of objects down there. But I think that it kind of protrudes them from being able to dive well all the time. So I might mess with that a little bit there. But, um, yeah, so they don't dive all the time. But when they do, it's really fun to see them uh, kind of hanging out under theirs there. So, um, but, yeah, there is the brand new otter habitat with the actual otters in oh and i almost forgot i almost didn't show off the um little tunnel system or not tunnel but little den i made for them um so yeah underneath here uh there's uh, they used to hang out here all the time but i sunk down some of those jetty platforms i was talking about um i sunk those down um in these rocks over here and yeah they used to before um the game actually uh, fully released and everything uh they would sleep down here all the oh hey hey hey! i spoke too soon awesome there they go see how they come down here and they sleep so it's just nice little there they go those guests can go ahead and see them uh so yeah there's views there of um just looking how cute i mean gotta look at the app <laughs> it is, it's okay it's gonna be extra cute it's gonna do extra cute things uh, since we're over here for it. So yeah, there's views um, there, and there's some more views over here, and you can kind of see the ramp uh, down there. So yeah, there's the little uh, entrance area there. So, oh yeah, they always sleep up here, so only a few of them. I, I think only one can fit down here um, at the moment, so maybe I can uh, tweak that a little bit to um, make it work a little bit better. So uh, yeah, but there's a nice little overhead view of the entire section there. Um, and again, like I, I had to like I had to learn how to replay the game, basically, with this habitat um, to get the different water levels and just putting the water in and out was a headache and I learned a lot doing that. Yeah, the bell constantly goes off because uh, there's a concrete wall in between here so the habitat thinks that otters are always uh, escaping whenever they get close to it basically. But uh, anyways, all the headaches aside, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. And uh, yeah, it's really cool to actually see, uh, actually get our little otter dudes and do that to actually, you know, uh, run around the exhibit and everything. It's, it's just, uh, it adds a lot, lot more than just these static animals. I uh, still love the uh, static animals that Drock and ZZ and all that make, but 
nothing beats the real thing, right? So, cool, cool, cool. There you go. So, that is the entire uh, update right now I have for Thornton Hill Zoo with the aquatic pack specifically there. So again, I know I didn't get the dwarf caimans in and I don't think we have enough room uh, for them to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have enough room for them in the um, in the South America section, not the zoo, not the zoo, but the South America section as a whole is so crammed in. Like um, that, That's kind of the uh, uh, theme for this episode is building and crammed section. The South America section was already built in a super crammed section um, overall. So I just, I don't see the room for but I still want to put the dwarf caimans in overall um, somewhere, so we will figure it out. Maybe in the big open section of uh, area um, that we have, which is, let me show you all, um, which is going to be where we're going to be uh, expanding. Oh my gosh, what are you? There we go. I paused the game on accident. Um, but yeah, this big section of openness over here, after we're done with the Africa section, uh, these two plots are the next ones, and that's kind of like when we wrap up Thornton Hill Zoo. But um, over here, I was thinking some crocodiles, maybe some dwarf caimans, and some other kind of uh, cool little things like that. So, But anyways, yeah, I want to get those in overall, and hopefully we'll get them in pretty soon. So, And uh, also, yeah, speaking of the uh, Africa section, um, the Savannas of Africa Phase 2 uh, video will be releasing very, very soon um, after this one does. I was going to be recording that basically right after I'm done recording this one. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to show all of you that um, can't make it to the streams or don't like to watch the streams, which is totally understandable. Um, can't wait to show off all the fun stuff that we've been building um, over in that section. And yeah, the Savannas of Africa overall are pretty much almost done there. Just need to finish up the uh, elephant habitat. Then that will be finished up and we can move on to the last two plots of open land in Thornton Hill Zoo and then finish Thornton Hill Zoo. It's so close. We're very, very close there. But so anyways, yeah, uh, comment down below. Let me know what do you think of the new aquarium area this whole little you know corner of the zoo that we made there the new seal habitat the new uh, uh, king penguin habitat also what do you think of our uh, adorable little otters now that we have them in their new expanded out um, exhibit you know from an, a bit a smaller implied exhibit to a bigger exhibit there overall so uh, yeah just overall what do you think of the aquatic pack what do you think of the animals in Thornton Hill Zoo now and yeah if this is your first time hanging out don't forget hit that subscribe button hang out with us a little bit more in the future there also hit the like button helps out the video helps out the channel so hey thanks so much everyone for hanging out with this uh, uh looking at the new builds for thornton hill zoo and until the next episode have a good one